Watch them then. <laughs> From the 12, Jones keeps, gets a block, takes off, and he is gone. Trying to stay upright, and he trips. Absolutely all alone, and he trips. Going to the end zone, and ends up. Years ago, we talked to Tom Moore, then at Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. You got a butter then at Indianapolis. Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator, you got a busted play here, and then, oh, no. and then Sanchez gets hit, the ball is loose, and it's alive. I have never seen this before in my life. Watch this. Vince Wilfork is going to throw Brandon Moore back into his quarter. This is what Reggie White used to do to people, forklift them, and just... He almost got the jump. Yes, he did. He gives it to Henry. Henry trying to get to the outside. The defender, Josh Norman, to his backside. <laughs> Derrick Henry, you better go low. Do not stand up with that man and let him just throw you out of the club. Watch the reaction from the sideline. Well, listen to the crowd. It's not a big crowd, but they're fired. Swing it. Swift in space. Down to the 10-yard line. Run down quickly there. And in some pains, he came down as well. Yeah, he got tagged at the end of that yeah. play. And the athletic training staff from Detroit out to look at DeAndre Swift, who has battled through injuries throughout this season. Somebody from the defensive interior, was that Jaron Reed? A flag came was by. thrown here, too. Yeah. Yeah, a flag was thrown at the back end. There's a conversation going on amongst the players out there. And I th Unsportsmanlike conduct, number seven of the defense. No. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Yeah, so that's on Quay Walker, and they missed. The penalty you guys were talking about, but that was Walker, and that's LaFleur right to his rookie. You got to be smart. And for DeAndre Swift, his leg was pinned underneath. Oh, he pushed a member of the athletic training staff. That's ridiculous. Wow. If there's ever a reason wow. to never push the athletic trainers, Man, this would certainly be that week. Terry, could you get ejected for that? Absolutely. We've seen that on the sidelines with pushing or, or, yes. or contacting coaches. They are going to disqualify for that. So, yes, we just were informed. Okay, let's see if they uh, stop the game and get in here. It's at the five-yard line, and now the Lions have broken the huddle here. And now the play is being stopped. Yeah. Well, Chris, your, your point was absolutely right on. You know, that was the game we had, Terry, and it was Quay Walker in Buffalo. Number seven's unsportsmanlike conduct is disqualified. And the Green Bay fans, while in this drive, Quay Walker up the tunnel. Knows the emotion got the worst of him. For the second time this year on a Sunday night, as we mentioned, we saw it in Buffalo. The sideline personnel, players on the practice squad, not in uniform. Walking. Shot down. Here's Mahomes rolling out on third and four. He's going to go for the. Yes, he's got the marker. He's got the out of bounds to stop it. And Osai was hurt as he hit the bench. And a flag's coming in to put him 15 yards closer. Oh my gosh. The That's only time he had to use the legs fully, he turned on and he put it on himself. And that's going to put them in position. To get Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 58. And that 15, 15 yards, yards from the end of the play is going to take this all the way foul. into an inside of about 40 yard field goal attempt to go to the Super Bowl. Oh, and right there at the end. Gene playing great all day and can't. Five yards, so eight seconds left and a 45 yard attempt by Harrison Butker. Here's Butker. For 45 yards. All the way. It's good. Cincinnati with an unbelievable season. Taylor. He's not down yet. He is now. It's, it's over. It is over. And the Kansas City Chiefs have won it. Heading to the Super Bowl for the third time in four years. <laughs>
Here's the pass for Higgins, and it's incomplete. Oh, and the flag's out. Gosh, I can hear that hit up here. Yeah. Oh. All right. That was as wicked a sound as I've heard. That was Tredavious White and Jordan Poyer colliding. I mean, I could pass your first number 27 defense automatic first down. This had to be helmet to helmet right here with each other. Oh, wow. Was on San Francisco to get to the quarterback here. Prescott takes off running the football. Whoa, I don't think this is going to work out. It will. They'll be able to clock this. They were playing for it. It's Four. down, down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, the official gets in the way. The game's oh over. Gosh. The game is over. Oh, he did. Oh, they're going to look at this. It's, it's going to be over because the umpire has to touch the ball. Of course, that's ridiculous for a game to end like that, Jim. Wow, I am livid if I'm a Cowboy fan and if I'm a Niners fan. That's the fan. end of the game. The yeah. game is over. The game is over, and San Francisco survives and advances. Final play looks like barring a penalty. Prescott over the middle of the turret. Gets smoked right away, and that'll do with the 49ers back to the championship game. the ninth. Stafford airs it out. Jefferson downfield. He's picked. No, dropped. Unbelievable. A drop by Jaquaski Tart, and he cannot believe it. Jaquaski Tart, this is the desperation throws that we've seen in each of the two games by Matthew Stafford. I don't know if he's injured, but he hasn't had enough arm to really get the ball out. Four down and five. Brady pass is broken up, incomplete, and the Chicago Bears are going to take over. DeAndre Houston Carson was there for Chicago. I don't know, Brady. I think he, the way Brady reacted and hold up his fourth, I think he thought it was third down. And Brady's still standing out there. But that's fourth down, and it's Chicago's ball. And that's the end of the night, and there may be some confusion out on the field. And Brady's finally being told that's it. You know he knows Chuck Pagano. His defense stepped up and made a stop. Ravens respond. That's a thing about half a yard, then he just drills it down the field. That was bad. And two penalties are down. That is a swing and a miss. That was a whiff. You don't see that very often. The officials even laughing about that one. He just comes up. I don't know if he just. Yeah, this this is an... asking a little too much. He was trying to show that he was kicking it to the left and was going to try and pooch it to the right. That was an accident waiting to happen. He's you... going to try and kick it with his right foot. Yeah, he got a little what's that, too creative. What's that, what's that Irish dance they do, the jig? Yeah. That's what that looked like. Walker on first down, moving to his left. And now Walker fires downfield, looking for D.J. Moore. Oh, oh my God. God. It's a diving catch for a Panthers touchdown. Wow. 48-yard extra point attempt by Pinheiro is no good. So give credit to Moore for making the catch, but you can't do that. You've got to keep your composure. Our first two were wide by plenty to the right. Well, you miss those two to the right, you come back, and then you try to compensate for that, and you, you miss it to the left. I mean, I know that all too well from golfing. Drama of Brett Maher trying to hit an extra point. He's missed three tonight, four in a row. And he has done it again. They might be looking for a kicker next week. And worked out this week. They brought in another kicker for competition. He did not have a great warm-up. 
This might be the most anticipated first, second quarter extra point in history. Maher, it is no good. It was blocked. Samson Ebicom, I think, got his hands on it. My goodness. Jones has time. Complete. Oh, it's dropped. What a huge play. So the clock will stop as Slayton had a free run with 3.03 to go. Enormous time for a drop. Yeah, not only does it stop the clock, it ends the game, in essence. He catches that ball. He has no nothing but green grass in front of him. He runs for the first down, and this game is all but over. I mean, 